Thank you very much. And it's indeed a pleasure for me to be here and joining in, in the opening of the Epcot Center. Now, as you will soon see, Spaceship Earth's theme is communications, civilization and communications from Stone Age to Information Age. And I therefore think it is very fitting that we dedicate Spaceship Earth to all of the people who have advanced communications, arts, and sciences, and in so doing have demonstrated that communications is truly the beginning of understanding. Mr. Ellinghouse later presented a gift from the Bell System to the first family to experience the Bell-sponsored Spaceship Earth Ride. On behalf of the Bell System, our first family, I want to make a presentation to you from us because uh, and we're just delighted to be with you and delighted that you're the first family to go through our exhibit. So thank you, thank you. I can't okay. say enough about how impressed yeah. we were with, with what Bell and Disney did with, yeah. it, with this exhibit. It's, you've got to see it to believe it, and probably all day I'll be asked questions about how to describe what's going on here, and I don't think they've come up with a word to describe what this is all about. And then he and Cod Walker, chairman of the Disney organization, spoke personally about the opening of Epcot. It's such a magnificent place to approach, which gives you a sense of awe when you come into it. And then as I've been through the, the uh, Spaceship Earth, which was absolutely tremendous. It's amazing, you know, when this uh, idea started back more than three years ago for this particular show, in theory, it really hasn't changed a lot. It's the same story of man's ability to survive by communicating and man's ability to improve the quality of life by communicating and to see the show even for myself now in the different stages and then finally finish and go through it with outside people it was a great thrill for me and how did other people react to Epcot oh this everything here is just great and everything in here it's really fascinating well I think Spaceship Earth uh, has been the most exciting attraction I've been in today uh, it, it was fantastic <laughs> <laughs> and I like the bell system they're, they're very good it's very futuristic and very in, uh, educational I guess is the word isn't it Tanya what would you like best about Epcot Center I like it all <laughs> how people have communicated over the centuries and how they will communicate in the future is displayed in tableaus during the course of Spaceship Earth's 13 minute ride the trip is not only dazzling, but also informative, especially the telecommunications network of the future diorama, which Bell System people helped design. Visitors will not be lacking for further information about what else is around the park, since they can turn to 29 terminals in the Bell System created World Key Guest Information Service. By simply touching a television screen, one can retrieve information about the park and its facilities. The units are scattered about the Disney complex. I'll be down here if you need any extra help, or if you want to end the show. Are the Spaceship Earth Ride and World Key Information Services the only Bell system involvement in Epcot? By no means. There is Futurecom, Bell's 9,000 square feet of exhibition space, depicting the latest concepts in communications technology. Here, the Bell system has assembled an array of informative and interactive exhibits. They range from the visually exciting information fountain, a moving symbol of the information age, and the intelligent network map, where there's not only information about the Bell Net, but a touch command system to get information about happenings in each state in the US. There is also the amazing microchip, where children must find their way through a giant microelectric circuit maze, or fight off alien attackers that are threatening their microchip. There is even animated folk art set to music depicting the information society. Epcot Center is like a permanent world's fair where companies and nations are showcasing their achievements and products. There is a hard rationale behind the Bell System's participation, as Bruce Strasser, AT&T's director of the Epcot project, explains. We saw this as an opportunity to reach a broad audience and tell them about the Bell System. Uh, Disney expects at least 10 million people a year here, and there are opportunities to reach even more people through publicity and advertising and promotion. And we want to tell the 
American public, show them how the Bell system is a leader in new technologies and uh, new products and services for the information age. How will the breakup of the Bell system on 1184 affect our participation here at Epcot? Well, we have a 10-year contract with Disney, so the exhibit will continue. Uh, the cost and operation of the exhibit will be picked up by the new AT&T, Western Electric, uh, Bell Laboratories, and Long Lines. The operating companies will be some of the best customers of the new AT&T, and therefore we will be very happy to have them here as guests, preferred guests. Of course, there is a lot more to experience here at Epcot Center, Exxon's Universe of Energy Pavilion, where you can take a ride back to the age of prehistoric creatures and follow the story of the evolution of energy, or ride through the history of transportation in General Motors' World of Motion Pavilion, complete with dozens of Disney's audio-animatronic creatures, or visit a foreign land such as Italy, complete with St. Mark's Square, or Paris, France at the turn of the century in the French area of Epcot's World Showcase. A final note to those of you planning to visit Epcot Center. Not all the pavilions were fully operational as of October 1st, and a few such as General Electric's Horizons Pavilion and the yet unsponsored Living Seas Pavilion are not scheduled to be opened until 1983 and 1984 respectively. So make your plans accordingly. However, the Bell System sponsored facilities are going strong and it was Bell System people working together with the Disney organization who made it possible. As for this edition of Chronicle News Update, we hope that it has been for you the next best thing to being there or here. For Chronicle News Update, I'm Bob Dugan.